Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the up and coming Mercury retrograde. This is going to be a doozy this month. So get ready. Let me explain what to expect during this intense Mercury retrograde. But before I continue on, I always want to remind everyone to sign up for my free newsletter. You can go to my website, galacticcenter.org, sign up and you will have all of my predictions delivered to your email address absolutely free weekly. So when you're there at my, at my website, Galactic Center, remember to check out my magazine. If my free newsletter inspired you to learn more. I have a stellar magazine comes out every month and it's only $9 and 99 cents, a hundred pages of some of the most incredible enticing articles from many astrologers and spiritual people. So check that out. Joni Patrice's Astrology Insights, as well as don't forget, I have a big conference coming up. I hope you'll come and I get to meet you. It's in Dallas and it's June 2nd through the 5th. Check it out. Future of Astrology. You can find out about that also on my website, galacticcenter.org and check out my school if you have the desire to learn Vedic Astrology. That's University of VedicAstrology.com. All right, let's get going. I have so much going on and there's so much that's going to be happening this month. Oh my goodness, is it an eventful month. But let's talk about the Mercury retrograde because Mercury will turn retrograde April 21st and it will stay retrograde and turn direct May 15th. And during this time, it stays completely in the sign of Aries. And I got to remind everyone, I am a sidereal Vedic astrologer. It's in the sign of Aries. Okay. And Aries is a sign of facts, action, and energy. This is going to be a doozy because I find that Mercury is going to be with Rahu. And the time that it goes retrograde is the day after a solar eclipse. And it actually turns retrograde the same day that Jupiter enters into Aries. So we got Mercury, Rahu, Jupiter all together. And even this, this is transiting alongside the sun with an eclipse. This has got to be an action-packed month with all the astrological events going on. But let me remind everyone what this retrograde process is all about. Remember, the retrogrades are simply a change of direction, a change of course. And when a planet goes retrograde, well, it's not really going backwards, but from our vantage point on Earth, it appears to. And what it actually is, is a time that you should pull back and reassess, review everything to do with RE, reflect anything to do with pulling back retesting things, reanalyzing things. It's not a time to force events forward because when you do, they usually go haywire. It is a time that you need to really reassess and reflect in your life. And you know, sometimes I tell people it's a great time to go on vacation because that's what we do. It's just getting to your destination during this time that's going to be hectic and very frustrating because I see this affecting the transportation industry remarkably so because Mercury is in the sign, the nakshatra that deals with travel, the star of transport for the first portion while it's in Aries, it will be in Ashwini, which deals with transportation. And aside from that, we're going to have Mercury in Aries, which is ruled by Mars, while Mars is in Gemini, ruled by Mercury. So this really does explain why this, this will be an intense Mercury retrograde with it being in the sign that rules Mars, which is action-packed and bringing things to the forefront, 
fast and furious, Mars being in the sign of communications, which is ruled by Mercury. It's going to be a lot of screw ups. There's going to be a lot of exchanges, a lot of heated words, maybe even violence coming about, but this will all be about transportation as well as communications. I see enormous computers going down, delays, mess ups, you know, there's going to be glitches in the computer systems around the world. Watch out with this as there usually are with Mercury retrograde, but I feel like this one's going to be more intense being right around the eclipse and Jupiter's transit. Jupiter will be Gundanta during this time, which means an overflow of emotion and being out of control. This is, this is going to be a monumental time for change. But please pull back because, you know, being in the sign of Aries can make one very ambitious and very much aggressive. But most of all, you will jump into things without thinking. It's just a time that you are not thinking. And when you move fastly and swiftly, you could cause accidents. Be careful. That's what this period is about. People not thinking and being aggressive, moving forward, saying things they didn't mean to say, going places too fast, tripping accidents. Take it slow. You can avert so much without this uh, taking on and being part of this aggressive energy, which is going to be our tendency. So we've got being conscious aware, we can avert any of these problems of this impulsiveness that this will bring about. When you have an impulse to act, pull back, take a deep breath, be calm, relax. Is it really going to be the end of the world if you don't rush into something? The answer is no, never. So calm down, take a deep breath, and realize that this is a time that we can initiate great changes in our life. But go to the drawing board and make plans for when Mercury does go direct. Now let me give you some of the degree portions in the zodiac. So when Mercury turns retrograde, and remember, whenever Mercury changes directions, which will actually be April 21st, as well as on May 5th, those two days are going to be the days that people change their minds about things. There's this, you know, Mercury rules our thinking process. And when it changes direction, we change our mind. That's why you don't want to really initiate any new things around this time, because when it turns direct, people will change their mind again. This is what we have to be aware of. So this is important. And the degrees, if you have any of these degrees in your chart, in the sidereal chart, not tropical, this will hit you harder. Why? Because Mercury will be on those planets. So I'm looking at it ha happens on the 21st. And it's interesting because it's going to be 21 degrees of Aries. As well as on May 15th, it will be 11 degrees of Aries. Any planets uh, that you may have on those degrees in Aries, boy, are you going to feel the intensity of this. And I would say lay low, sit back, relax, and review things especially with travel plans. And if you have to travel, just make sure you have some, lots of reading material because there could be many delays and setbacks and cancellations. And remember, Mercury deals with our thinking mind, so you will be more forgetful. You'll forget things, leave things, get locked in out of the house. Take your time. Always remember to remember and be calm. Use your thinking mind during this time. Don't let it go haywire and forgetfulness. And I do think that there is a transformational change happening with all of our consciousness during this big reset. Minds are going to be able to think faster and understand more. But during this time, 
it's all in a place of confusion. So you can pull away from this confusion. You can reassess and you can make things better during this time. If you will use this time to pull back and reflect, that's what the retrograde processes are all about. So Aries is the sign of new beginnings. And once Mercury starts to move direct, and Mars, by the way, Mars will be, Mercury, by the way, will be in the sign of Aries, but, it, but it's retrograde only from April 21st to May 15th, but it will be in the sign of Aries from March 30th till June 7th. It's a long time that it stays in one sign. So you're going to find once it moves direct, and it leaves that shadow period. We're not going to get into all of that. But once it starts to move direct and we get past June, things will calm down, especially in the area of travels, especially in the areas of communications. Remember your communications go haywire. People don't understand you. Don't sign, if you have to sign a contract, double check it. Look at the fine print because Mercury retrograde means things are missed. Things are ignored. Things are confused. Make sure you have people understand what you're trying to say. Chances are they may not, but do your best to make things as clear and transparent as you possibly, possibly can during this enormously hectic Mercury retrograde. So with that, I'll close. If you need more information on me, if you want to sign up for my free newsletter, check out my magazine, my conference, or even my university, go to my website, galacticcenter.org, and my university website, universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.